Hey everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I'm doing a rumor video on the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Note 3 phablet, and rumors have been piling up about this device for months. Now this device will be released next week at the IFA show in Berlin, uh, September the 4th to be precise, and Samsung has yet to reveal any official specifications, but there's plenty we think we know about the device. So, as I said before, we know for sure that it will be revealed on September the 4th, as if Samsung's invitation weren't clear enough. Also, it will be bigger than ever, it'll be larger than its 5.3 and 5.5 inch predecessors if rumors are any indicator. Now, Samsung co-CEO claimed that the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 will feature a 5.9 inch display. Now, whether or not this is true, we'll probably be seeing slightly more than 5.6 inches. My guess is that it'll be more, more like 5.7 inches, but we'll have to see. Now, the body shape of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 will probably maintain the same design as the first two generations and will employ the same button layout. It would also make sense for Samsung to model the Note 3 of its Galaxy S4 flagship design. Also, the Galaxy Note 3 will likely come with pretty high-end hardware. Some customers could be buying a Note 3 with a 1.8GHz octa-core Exynos 5420 processor, while other phones might ship with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 chipset. Additional specs should include a 13 megapixel camera and a choice of 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, or 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Nothing suggests that Samsung will stray from the same plastic materials found in the last few generations of Galaxy S and Galaxy Note smart smartphones, which may come as a disappointment to some, but is kind of nice in a certain sense because it makes the phone lighter in your hand. Now, this Samsung phablet is expected to run on the latest version of Android, which is 4.3 Jelly Bean, with many of Samsung's own custom software touches. Also, the Galaxy Note 3 will probably be offered in black, white, and maybe even a pink version arriving a few weeks later. It should be in stores by September and will be made available in the days following the announcement around the world. The pink version is likely to arrive in late October, although this is not confirmed. According to ePrice, the global model will be offered on September the 27th, with pre-orders starting on September the 16th. Now, a long shot is that the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 could have 4K video recording, but I'm not holding out much hope for this, and to be honest, why do you even want this on a smartphone? Now, another thing that I'm not expecting to see in the Galaxy Note 3 is a flexible display. Samsung has demonstrated this technology on multiple occasions, but I don't see it finding a home on the Galaxy Note 3 because it would stray too far from what Samsung's already done with the phone. Now, I do think that the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 will have advanced camera features, even without the 4K display that I mentioned earlier. Now, the Galaxy Note 3 could be the first smartphone to feature a whopping 3 gigabytes of RAM, which is a staggering amount in a smartphone, and a figure that could vastly improve performance. Now, as far as US carrier support, you know, Samsung does like to offer its big device releases across numerous carriers, so we'll probably see Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and US Cellular to make their own announcements officially backing the Galaxy Note 3. Now, the one thing I have not mentioned yet is the price, and this is probably the area where we know the least about. Historically, the Note series cost more than the flagship smartphones, and in the US, I'm expecting it to come in around $250 with a two-year service agreement. Make sure to stay tuned to the IFA show in Berlin on September the 4th, but until then, let's get excited about the upcoming Galaxy Note 3, and thanks for watching this video. See you next time.